All right, evening, y'all. Chief Prepper here. I wanted to do this video because I think it's fairly important. I used a uh, a tire repair kit like this back in the 90s, and I don't remember it being the way it was this time. But maybe I'm just old and weak now. So I'll let you see this. If you look closely there, there is one of the little sticky strips is missing because I used it the other day. And why am I talking to you about this? Alright, this kit comes with this thing, which is the last thing you use in conjunction with these sticky strips. This kit has been in my van for... Since I've had the van. And then this. This is what I'm talking to you about. If you look there... That shank is normally all dark, and this is what you use to, to make the hole bigger and to rough up the hole that you, you stick this in where the screw or the nail is. So, again, you're like, why am I talking to you about this, right? Well, I'm not the lean, mean fighting machine that I used to be, and I could not get the goddamn thing to go in the hole. You have to get the first tool in the hole. Uh, if you look at the directions here, you use the uh, pointy thing to rough up the hole and smooth that out. You put the little strip in between the, the hole and the other thing. Then you punch that in and pull it back out. And then you trim the, the excess. So, I'm not the lean, mean fighting machine that I used to be. So I'm talking to you about this. You're getting ready to go into travel season. Assuming you don't have a catastrophic tire failure. Unless you're massively stronger than I am. I still consider myself pretty strong. Uh, and granted I was trying to do this with the tire and wheel still on the car. I just had to had it turned. So I had access to it. I did get the nail out. But I could not get the pointy thing to go in the hole. So here's the key. You need to carry... A drill bit and a drill of some kind I would say shop around uh, old tools the old hand crank drills that you can hand tighten the chalk on a drill bit uh, maybe get the quick release key chucks on it I don't have an example of that but you can put those in like drill drivers when you get the old timey one where you can tighten it down pretty tight and then you can hand crank it you drill the hole in the tire prior to using the sticky thing and that other thing. And then you put, uh, I used a 3 because that thing is a quarter inch shaft. Even with it drilled, I, was, I had a hard time getting it in. I did get it in, I, get, I roughed up the hole, and then I used the other tool. I used it on the Pontiac recently, and it seems to be holding. So the key to this is, without a drill, I, you probably can't use this kit on the side of the road because you can't uh, get the sticky stuff inside the hole without making the hole bigger with a drill and then that punch thing that roughs up the hole. So if you have this kit in your car, understand something. If you're a girl, not to be rude, but if I'm not strong enough to do it and I have still decent strength, uh, then unless you're a really strong woman the odds of you being able to do it is even less so try and find a hand crank drill I'll try to do a short video showing you that I actually have one but I don't have enough to go into each vehicle so I do carry a dual driver in uh, the van and in the one ton because I use those once I break the lugs loose to take the lugs off so I'm not sitting there spinning the wrench all day uh, and then a friend of mine got me a uh, half horsepower uh, cordless uh, impact wrench. So that will probably go in the one ton truck. And then I'll uh, I'll keep it in the shop, but I'll, I'll have it in the one ton truck for trips and stuff. And then if I go on a trip in the van, I'll put it in the van. So the uh, just... Uh, this is an example. I haven't, like I said, I haven't used a kit like this since the 90s, and back then I think I had the same problem. But I don't know what I did to to solve the getting the the pointy, punchy, rough, rough thing that into the hole. But uh, 
I haven't used it in the, since the mid 90s so you know keep that in mind I mean you just understand that if you're going to use this kit and if you're trying to use it you're probably on the side of the road and in a, in a bad spot you will not be able to do it unless you're really strong and then you have to get the punch in there to widen the hole to get the other tool in there uh, to pull it back out and leave the sticky stuff in the hole so anyway information is knowledge and power live a little prep a lot share the love g prepper out